Melissa. You are top chef. <laughs> I grew up in a very traditional Chinese household. My father was a little more on the strict end and didn't really support me as a chef. It's coming together. Being here, I really want to prove to my dad that I am an extremely talented chef. To make it to Final Four, it feels so good. But at the same time, it's been such a long journey to get here. Just the texture just fell apart, kind of just watery in the finish. Unfortunately for one of you, this was not your finest hour of cooking. The fat remain inside without melting. I miss my family and I miss my girlfriend. It's difficult to be here and not have that support. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Mom is so proud of you. High school? And I said, what, what, what college do you want to go to? No, I want to go to CIA. I said, oh my god, you want to be James Bond? <laughs> be a doctor how come you don't want to be a lawyer yeah. you know even even today melissa's dad would not probably not have sex this. he's never come into any of my restaurants he just doesn't like i don't know he just sort of he avoid avoid the subject you know <laughs> my parents are divorced but to this day my mom still gets really upset that my dad doesn't really want to involve himself in my life whether that's me being gay or me cooking it's like out of sight, out of mind. I made a custard with shiitake mushroom and clams. And then I garnish it with a little bit of lobster and salmon roll. How is it working with your daughter, Alice? <laughs> oh, now, just now. Mother-daughter day for me. Yeah. <laughs> Something I'll never forget. Your mom's custard is really delicious. Very silky and delicate. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Melissa. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, let's get set up. We have three and a half hours at the Catalyst restaurant to make an innovative dish. Yeah. It's our last challenge in Boston. Knowing that I have immunity, I can have a little more fun with this one. I went for flavors that were different than what I'm used to. I'm not into molecular cooking, so I didn't, I didn't really want to go that direction with the innovation. But for myself, this was out of my comfort zone. I think the chef whose dish was the best example not only of innovation, but also happened to be very well executed today, was Melissa. The other chefs should watch out for me because I've been just killing it. And when I get to Mexico, I'm going to win it all. It's a smoked eggplant ravioli with shrimp, chorizo, and cotija cheese. The beet juice represents the graffiti art of his style. Uh, I chose a ravioli to represent the gray house in his artwork. Your ravioli was delicious. I'm not sure what that shrimp was doing there. I know you wanted to get the pink in there. I think there may have been other ways that you could have done that. Melissa, please pack your knives and go. It's such a pleasure to have met you and eaten your food, Melissa. You did nothing wrong. You just came up against dish, three dishes that were stronger. Thank you for having me. Top Chef changed my life. It's really given me a lot of confidence in my cooking, um, confidence in myself. I think people know me as the sweet one, but this year I'm not gonna play that nice. <laughs> I'm gonna play smart. My technique is a lot stronger, um, but I would certainly say my creativity has blossomed a lot since the show. I'm focused a lot more on Chinese ingredients and, and Japanese and Korean ingredients and really just honing into my roots as an Asian American. So I prepared a lobster wonton with a shellfish consomme and it has a charred allium oil and uh, some beautiful vegetables. To me, Melissa's was pretty close to perfection. It's a Michelin style dish for sure. Wow. I will put it in my restaurant. I made grilled quail with lime and a hot plum glaze and some ninja radishes. It really just highlighted the bird itself. I honestly love this. Michael himself was completely blown away. There was nothing any of us would have changed. Thank you again. If I win Top Chef, I think my family would be the most proud of me. Back in season 12, I was really trying to just prove to my dad cooking is my life. He's never come into any of my restaurants. Just sort of avoid, avoid the subject. 
After Top Chef 12, my relationship with my father actually blossomed. He's supportive of my career, supportive of my queer lifestyle, and I actually hear the words, I'm proud of you, come out of his mouth. Mending my relationship with my father even kind of ties into my food. I feel more confident in myself, confident in the food that I'm creating. So I'm ready to get in that kitchen and get to the finale. I know I'm taking a big risk making Annalini and Brodo for some of the best chefs in Italy. That's a very signature regional dish. The way that I'm preparing this dish is probably very different than what they're expecting. I'm putting a little bit of an Asian twist to it, using Japanese ingredients with yuzu and bonito, and infuse it into the Parmesan broth. The shining star today was Melissa. <laughs> it's been a goal of mine to get to the finale, and here I am. Mind blowing. This is your third win in a row. This is, yeah. You're on a roll. <laughs> it's crazy. I can't even explain what it feels like. But at the same time, there's one more challenge left, one big one. Wow. It's not the time to choke. Please step to the side. Each of you will be responsible for making the best progressive four-course meal of your life. Being here in Italy, I really wanted to marry as much of Asian flavors and my own Chinese heritage with some of the ingredients here. Melissa ha fatto un'interpretazione sua sulla nostra tradizione e sul suo cuore. Sono molto emozionato. It made Dario cry. Tears, actual big, tears. The big butcher was crying. He really was moved yeah. by how beautifully you honored what his canon of food is. Melissa, you are top chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god such a wild adventure i cannot be more proud of myself <laughs> to see my mother here <laughs> and to be in this moment with her it's coming full circle <laughs> Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, What's really special about this win is that I was doing it for myself in Boston. I was just trying to do it for everybody else and kind of like earn my father's approval. Beautiful job. Wow. It's just amazing to watch it all season long. This time, I wanted to prove to myself that if I set a goal, I can achieve it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs>